Now, class, in order for you to become responsible members of the driving community, you're going to have to actually read and memorize this. Guys, listen to this. Left turn from a two-way street onto a one-way street. Right turn from a one-way street to a two-way street. This is supposed to make sense? Jasmine just transferred here from New York, and I think she's still a little jet-laggy. At a metered on-ramp. Uh, Mr. Dunny, when I get to a T intersection, am I allowed to make a U turn? Because that's two different letters. <laughs> I know this might seem complicated, and I wish I had a lot of big, fuzzy puppets to explain it to you all, but I don't. So instead, we're just gonna go straight to our first training film, Wheels of Tragedy. Oh. Remember, a car is two tons of unforgiving steel. Your slightest error could have the greatest repercussions. If only Cindy and Eddie had been more respectful of the wheels of tragedy. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Why did they kill off the Eddie character? He was really good. I mean, I believed him. Um, Mr. Dunny, could we maybe postpone this whole driving thing? Like, till we're 30? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dunny. You really should just excuse me from this, because I don't need it. Murray or his replacement will be driving me everywhere, so... Unless you get replaced first. <laughs> <laughs> As if. Okay, people, now remember to read these booklets, or at least look through the pictures. Maybe this driving thing isn't as easy as it looks. I never thought it looked easy. By the way, did you notice that Queenie was noticeably absent today? Absolutely chicken. So obviously tipped off about the film festival. Oh, did I miss Wheels of Tragedy? Sorry I was late. I had a little appointment at the DMV where I picked up this! <gasps> it goes perfectly with the new car that Daddy bought me. You got your license? Yes, so I'm sorry. I won't be able to join you in your little film society. How did you do this? You just turned 16 last week. Practice. Daddy's let me drive since I was 12. Isn't that illegal? <sighs> we just drive on our own property. I mean, who's going to arrest us, the landscaper? <laughs> oh, well. Now, the freeway is my oyster. And while you pedestrians are scrambling around trying to find a ride, I will be driving <laughs> to all the parties, and handsome men will snap to my commands. Oh, I can't wait to use valet. <laughs> well, this should be new for her, sitting in the front seat. You know, guys, this puts us under serious pressure. Oh, please, if she can do it, we can do it. All we have to do is practice. Wasn't I just buckling you into a car seat? Ah, you kids. You grow up so fast. You ready? I hope so. You'll do fine. Now, driving is a straightforward series of actions. The important thing is to remain calm and focused and to keep your eyes on the road. Now, you start the car, adjust your mirror, look behind you, and back out of the driveway. Okay. straight and everything. Oh, it's very good, sweetheart, very good. Uh, maybe now you might want to turn the wheel. Uh, now you might want to put it in drive. Oh. Sweetheart, maybe we should talk about braking. Huh? It's a gradual depression of the pedal so that you and your passenger you don't go through the window i can't help it daddy it's the car all right chair forget it forget about forget about the brake pedal okay stop yelling at me just drive just drive steer steer left uh-huh 
Go. Right. 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 Now left. Left. Well, every time you move the wheel, the whole car moves. Exactly. Stop sliding. Urban, stop before you hit the sign. Oh, Daddy, that sign came out of nowhere. It all happened so fast. It's no use. I can't do this. Never again, Cher. Never again. Okay, before the Gucci can make a left turn, it has to wait for the Anna Sui and the Charles David to clear. See? D, I destroyed public property. And I dented Daddy's car. It was a menace. And, and he just kept on yelling at me, never again, never again. Well, I guess not, Cher, but you know, it's really hard. They put those signs in weird places and you were probably just concentrating too hard on the system. The system? Didn't your dad teach you the system? No. Rear view, side view, glance, signal, scan. I'm comprehending. Side view, glance, signal, scan. Let's make a left-hand turn here. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't go now. I signaled, I glanced. No, but you didn't glance at the cars coming directly at you. Other cars weren't mentioned in the system. You're right, you're right, you're right, right. Other cars weren't mentioned in the system. Okay, check this out. Until those cars are gone, you don't go. <laughs> Fine, that's all you have to say. I'm not gonna go. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, rear view, side view. What are you doing? The system. Forget the system. Just go, go. Okay. No, 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 no. There's a lady closet with a baby carriage. Don't go yet. You know, it's also random. Okay, Murray, I'm sorry. You know what? Put the car in park, all right? That's it. I'm driving home. No. Yeah, that's it. No. Never, never, ever, ever, ever again. You don't want me to drive because you want to control me. You want to know where I'm at at all times. Listen, I don't no. care if you get your license, all right? I want you to drive. I just don't want you to drive while I'm in the vicinity, all right? Now, get out the car. You know, I have a life, and it is not all about you, Murray. Get out of the car, D. No! Get out! So then he totally scuds me. Majorly unsupportive. I am way offended for you. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Cher. I hear you're bringing your redecorating skills to city property now. I'm glad you find my vehicular shortcomings so amusing. Oh, look, Cher, come on. Everybody has something like that when they first start out. You know, I never told anybody, but the first time Mel took me out. Is that the tidal bomb topiary incident? I think I heard about that. <laughs> well, Mel was ranting about it for days after you left for your mom's. <sighs> well, the point is, why don't I take you out for a couple of lessons, you know? I, I know Mel could be a hothead. Josh, that's way Mother Trace of you. But I'm not getting behind the wheel. I'm a complete driving doofus. Well, uh, I'm here if you need me, all right? Just let me know. Observation. Maybe the stepbrother is right. I mean, it's probably our respective instructors. I bet if we went and took our tests, we would so fully be in the passing lane. Maybe you. No, both of us. I know, if we went down tomorrow and took our tests, we would so fully pass. Did I pass? Well, let's see. You sideswiped the school bus. You drove the wrong way down the freeway. You knocked down 16 pedestrians. Oh, and by the way, here in America, we usually don't wear pajamas to our driving test. And your English final is in five minutes, and you completely forgot to study. <laughs> oh, the horror and humiliation. I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm doomed to be a non-driving freak. 
neither Dee nor I could muster the courage to take our test. Everyone else was passing. How embarrassing. Obviously, we needed professional help. Okay, now, I've made DMV appointments for you all to take your tests next week. And I'm sure if you just practice, you can pass easily. Jasmine, let's start with you. Okay. Well, there's always Madonna. It took her six movies to finally land the role of Evita. And no one even remembers Shanghai. Surprise. And then there's JFK. He failed the bar eight times before he finally got his magazine. It's not like we're the only ones chasing our license. That's right. There's always Jasmine. Hey, you! Would you move it? I haven't got all day! Okay, now we're just going to sit here and wait patiently for these cars to clear. Which cars? Oh, I hate this. This whole intersection thing is lame. Okay. D, first of what? all, calm down. Okay. Okay. All right, do you see the cars there on your left-hand side? Yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to wait for them to clear, mm -hmm. and then you're just going to show them your business, babe. Just go on ahead. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, Cher, the coast is clear. Let's go. Cher? Come on, Cher, you are fully capable. Here, I'll help. I... I... I am... Um, I did it. Cher, are you feeling a little unconfident? Never again, Cher. Never again. I am... Um, I'm feeling kind of car sick. I don't think I can drive today. I can't drive today. Wow. I had to do a three-point turn and... A Yui. Parallel park? You bet. Three inches from the curb. <laughs> Swish! Yo, check it out. Ah, nothing but net. High five. <laughs> sure, check it out. That's a very flattering photo, Jasmine. <laughs> I came, I saw, I am driving. Yeah! is the happiest day of my life. No more slapping these women to the Beverly Center. Oh, oh, I'm free. You're free. I'm free. Cher, sure. look. That's a very flattering photo. <laughs> hey, I need to borrow your car Saturday afternoon. Sorry, sweetie, you're not on the insurance. Yet. Welcome to the dollhouse, Cher. I am such the cheese standing all alone. Please. I'm being hypersensitive. Nobody notices. Oh, Cher, I've seen everybody's driver's license but yours. Are you embarrassed by the picture? No. Oh! <laughs> bad Amber, bad, bad Amber. That's right. You choked. You didn't take the test. What's the matter, Cher? Are you afraid you'll fail? Here he comes. Bill! Good morning, everybody. Oh, what's up, Mr. Hall? Shall we uh, begin? I was destined to maintain my pedestrian status. All I could do is chip in and read the map. And I'm not good at that either.
I had become a vehicular pariah. Now, don't forget the next chapter in world literature uh, for next week, uh, Sartre's No Exit. Cher? Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Aren't you going to be late for your next class? Uh, driver's Ed, isn't it? Well, I'm the only one left. Oh, well, that's uh, nice. Be like a uh, private tutorial. Oh, Mr. Hall, it's so pathetic. I can't do it. Everyone else can, and I can't. I'll never drive. Cher, uh, did you read last week's assignment in uh, Don Quixote? Mr. Hall, I've been a little preoccupied with my automotive distress. You know, Cher, uh, everybody does this at some time or another. Sometimes when I'm teaching, I even find it happening to me. But whenever it does, I think uh, windmills. Oh, do you mean like happy things from Holland? Like tulips and clogs and Gouda? Well, let's look in the book. See, in chapter eight, Don Quixote finds himself on a plain dotted with windmills. Oh, that's right. He attacked them because he thought they were giants. Exactly. Now, Cher, are windmills giants? No. But he thought they were. And so he, uh... Oh, Mr. Hall, I really appreciate your courageous attempt to help. But I think I'm beyond even metaphorical assistance. Well, why don't you think about it? Because great literature can often have the answers to our problems. Well, Mr. Hall did say great literature contains the answers. You will walk with happiness for the rest of your life. Oh, even Hunan Gardens knows I'll never drive. Hey, how's the permanent pedestrian? Josh, it's not funny. Oh, look, Cher, I really think you're making too much of this. Everybody fails that test, you know? I failed it the first time I took it. Really? No, no, not really. I was just trying to make you feel better. But look what this is doing to you, Cher. You can't let this happen. Come on, I'll go take you out for a drive right now. I can. Yes, you can. I'll be right next to you. Come on, you're going to do great. Look, Cher, you can do it. Hands on wheel, gas, go. No, I can't. All right, I'll tell you what. You'll just drive from one Starbucks to the next. That's got to be, what, about 200 feet? Josh, it's no use. Look, I appreciate it, but I'm just one of those hopeless cases. <sighs> Josh, stop the car. Wait, you want to drive? No, pull over. It's a hard job. Stop the car. Pull over. Oh, you poor baby. Oh, his name is Buster. Oh, we're gonna take care of you, okay? Uh, Josh, help with him. I can't right, carry him, he's too guy. heavy. Hurry! Hurry! No, Cher, you're driving. I am. I am. <laughs>
Dear Mr. Hall, I finally comprehended what you were trying to say. Driving was my windmill, but I overcame my fears and totally aced the driving test. Thanks to you and that coyote guy, I'm now a licensed member of the driving community.